All right, welcome back to my 200 plus shards rotations. Hope you're doing well. I've got a cup of coffee and I, uh, I'm going to do the next one in this. A nice hot beverage as I go for Soul Guard. Uh, that works. If you're not sure, let's see. We got, I mean, obviously Titan Channel is always good for Soul Guard. Um, Dire is serviceable. You can sometimes make it work. Um, when you build it right, Colt Channel is actually still quite strong, even at high shards. You just have to make sure you have a way to live. But let's see who we get. We get Awoken, we get Steel Enhancers. That's actually not bad. Ew, Junk Fell. X plus three, 50%, man. I really want the X plus three for the infinite, but it, we're going to go 50% health just because that's so, so good with, yeah, we'll go cold channel. Uh, the 50% health is just so good. If I was going anything besides Titan, even Titan channel, you kind of want that extra health. All right. All right, guys, ew, we'll go like this and this. And why not drop him? Um. We're just going to build up as much frostbite as possible. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to get the kill anyways, and that's just going to save me a bunch of damage. I'm going to actually let all those guys on the bottom live, right? Because this just free frostbite triggers. We're going to encant, we're going to play these foregone powers before playing that, just in case it gets discarded. I could have gotten three foregones off, didn't happen, that's fine. Nice big 109 frostbite at the end there. Uh, we take the offering token, no, no doubts there, and we take the glimmer. Nice. Alright, Awoken Banner. Ooh. I know who I want. Endless. These aren't who I wanted, but I will take an Animus of Will. Um, we give you health. Reroll. We can give you a multi strike, that's fine. And we continue forward. Anytime I take Animus of Will, it's always going to be spiky, dude. That's just how it works. No getting around it. Okay, we drop this unit and this unit. I would prefer that guy to live. Um, Ice Tornado to clear out a bunch of them. I want him to live as much as possible for down here. Ice Tornado again, nice. That's perfect. Give you a little bit more health, more attack, more attack. And another encant. All right, now we get the kill. Do a little sweep action, a little bit of this. And a foregone power, bam. Um, man, I don't like the 
Jeez. We'll take the flash freeze. There's some targeted backline damage. We got another glimmer. We'll take two glimmers. And the Siren of the Sea. Siren of the Sea is a good infusion for me. If I get to it. Honestly, though, I would love an Awoken Hollow. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the dupe. We're going to take this. We're going to take the plus five per turn. That's great. There's the Awoken Hollow. Awesome. We'll go Concealed Caverns. Yeah, we put a plus ten attack on you. We're going to put a Awoken Hollow into that as well. We just have a bunch of extra units, unfortunately. We're going to go dupe debuff for offering token. <laughs> Honestly, it's fine to kill these for now. And do I want the multi-striker here? No, we want you here. Just to get as much frostbite as possible. And then we'll put the multi-striker behind. Like this. Guard, bump up the attacks. There we go. That gives me a nice chunk of frostbite damage, which is great. We want to make sure he's getting more survivability. Taking five, gain threes. Oh, gaining another five. So I gained more health than I lost there, which is wonderful. Um, it's Glimmer. And I think we've got a nice easy win going. At least on this fight. Alright. Discard a card. Got another card. There we go. 220 frostbite at the end. I think I had enough. We take a cycle of life. That's going to take minus twos really well. Lodestone totem? No. Go away. I don't feel like doing that. We'll take a plus Ember for this round, and then we'll do plus Draw next time, I think. Um, yeah, we're going to go to the free, get rid of stuff, the Vapor Funnel, beautiful. Minus two on a cycle of life. Let's just, I could intrinsic that already. No, I'm just going to put another minus one into it. Give me more cold channel. This is a cold channel on it. Run. I love cold channel runs. Um, bam. Alright, let's start engaging pack shards. How many more temples? One, two, three. Three more temples. So I got plenty more chances to use up my units. Uh, as I said, we're getting rid of the siren. And we got no space, so let's get rid of Glacial Seal. We're going to take an offering token on Intrinsic. I feel so behind on shards, but that's what happens, which is fine. Alright, we drop 
Soul Guard, 75 health is really nice. By Train Steward, pump up. Bam. That plus health gain is always wonderful. Give me money. Nice. Exactly what I want to see. Two more of that. Great. Slowly losing health here, which is annoying. I need some big damage. Heals, please. As long as I live to the last fight, I am happy. There we go, cycle of life. Oh, root seeds first, thank you. All right, I'll at least live to, through this. And I'll have at least 30 health going against the boss. Heal. Start your frostbite journey already. There we go. 98 frostbite. Awesome. Um... Do I want Ice Storm? No, I got Glimmers. I want the Glimmers to be big. No wake. That's my big heals. That's nice. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Take a Jack Strips. I like a Jack Strips. There we go. Let's make a giant Glimmer. The giant glimmer does steal the frostbite away, but I think it's fine. Um, I'd rather Soulguard live than go, oh, I just need more frostbite. Okay, minus one on the cycle of life. Double stack? That's not worth it. Um, minus one of root seeds. We're just going to merge the other train stewards next round. So we're good, but we can get rid of that one. Um, I'm going to start getting rid of my foregone powers. Where do I go to next round? I'm going to go to the right again. I'm going to get two more removes next round. We're going to get rid of a couple of those. Okay. Multi-strike, sure. So again, as long as Soulguard lives, we are doing fine. We do that one because it's more draw. We're just going to clear all those out. Um, we can get rid of that one. Whew! Minus 15. Alright, give you health. Give you some more health. Give that some more health. Attack. Just lost half my health there. <laughs> oh man. Those guys are scary. Um, yeah, we have to do it like that.
good. We get the lit. Nice. We do this. Okay. You know, it's probably smarter to put the Encanter in here. Not what I did put in there. <laughs> Ah, nice. Now he lives. Five hundred forty health. It's a pretty good amount. Yes, we take a hammer chest plates. Um, more frostbite. Now we take this. The sap is nice, and we take an ensnare. That's going to help against the last divinity mini bosses. We're going to go to the right. We're going to look here. Minus two and a purge. And then we're going to go to Concealed Caverns. We take an Awoken Rail Spike. Now I'm sad I don't have the first health pack, but it's fine. Uh, minus two the Rail Spike. Purge minus one on an Ice Tornado because I don't like them. Pump up a train steward. We are going to purge foregone powers. And we're going to dupe the rail spike. Okay. There we go. I started those shards, but now I'm already back up to my 195 by ring 6, right? That's how you play this game uh, accessibly. Now we just need to hope not to get flooded out. Um, we're going to clear this wave. You know what? Eat Frostbite. I'm doing myself a little bit of damage, but that means I'm going to start building more Frostbite on enemy units right away. Let's see, I got four. What do I draw? An Awake. Ooh, I like seeing that Awake. So we're going to discard you. Pump up that attack. We use the awake. We use this. I could be putting the awake on my awoke or my guy in the back as well. Well, there's the junk. I'm going to take the five. Ooh, or will I? Go away. Um, we're just going to kill that. And we're going to save the other real spike. Okay. Gain 10, ten health. Do one of these actions, another one of these. Let's see, I'm applying 18 frostbites, so that's 18, 36, 50, 61. So we're just going to do a big glimmer. And now we can get rid of you. Go away, train steward. Yeah, see, I might have a problem of I'm gaining... Too much junk. Ow. Ow. At least another 22 frostbite there. Okay. I believe it's more important to get my stuff going. Um, all right. There's a nice big heal. We can get rid of this so I take a little bit less damage. 
Do I just... Now we do that. God, my deck's like half junk now, I think. Alright, health, health, this, get rid of two of those. A thousand? That's not enough. Sixteen hundred. Ooh, that's a lot better. Sixteen ninety six. Seventeen hundred. But that should be enough to get the kill with the pyre. Awesome. Three hundred frostbite. Gets it with the dazed. Uh, we can skip that. We take the plus draw. I could love, would love, love, love an ingraft. Um, we're going to go here. Plus 30 magic power can go on this glimmer. All right, so now we just need to start minusing one stuff. We're going to minus one and awake. Hold over. The intrinsic token is pretty nice. Um, damn, the dupe side, excuse me, that language that's on the merchant of steel. All right, minus one, the awake again. Plus 20 consume an ice tornado in case I get a chance to play it. I don't know why I would. I'm actually probably going to purge it. It's fine. Another intrinsic. One intrinsic, one of these rail spikes. Alright, what do we purge? The train steward is useless. And... One of the steel enhancers. Alright, now we just need to remember, we should probably play the awake on my uh, guy. I don't know why I put that. I, I don't have enough heal to make that infusion good. I should have put the encant in him. It's fine. Ooh, that's a lot of attack. Okay. Let's draw five. That's pretty good. Oh, I should have. Oh, well. There's that glimmer I wanted. It's fine. It's fine. Discard that. We're gonna glimmer down here to kill some units. Sure. Man, those do a lot of damage. Okay. We glimmer. That way I don't take 52 freaking damage. We glimmer again, we draw four. All right. Discard the amulet, bam, the wake here. We are going to do it like that, because I, once again, don't want to take a boatload of damage. Hopefully this turn I draw my Glimmer, or a Glimmer. Nice. Look how much less damage that is now, and then Glimmer here as well. The Jack Strips will kill stuff, but it's fine. Okay. Do that, and that, and that. And we kill him. Uh, 
that extra draw each round for the sap is nice. I'm probably going to go Merchant of Magic. I'm hoping for either a double stack or another holdover, something like that. Double stack and holdover or remove consume. Those are all very good. I'm going to Glimmer down here to kill those guys. Okay. Ew. Go away. All right. Do like this. Though I really would have liked the dupe. Uh, we'll see what I draw or get for rewards. Cycle of Life. Discard a Guardian's Amulet. Big Glimmer. And then we pump this guy. Um, let's discard Flash Freeze. Bam. Alright, how much Frostbite do we get to before we end this fight? 558 it looks like. Nice. We take the Titan's Tooth. That's another discard target. Ooh, ow, I like several of these. We're here. Um, I think we have a good amount of draw. We're going to take another cycle of life. Or we might just give that two minus ones or a single minus one. We'll find out. Take some money. Spike steel plus one per stack is good. There's a lot of actually good things here. There's another holdover. We're going to put a holdover on the guardian's amulet. Um, minus one, a cycle of life. And then when we re-roll, there's a remove consume, which is pretty nice. Okay. And we'll do additional damage here. Um, we have a lot of health. Ooh, rooted. Frostbite. Okay. Remove consume. Let's go ahead and minus one the cycle of life. What are my worst cards? Another steel enhancer. Um, and honestly, the ice tornado. Don't like the ice tornado. We gave it consume. That's fine. All right, Seraph. Drop this and this. Let's drop five. Wonderful. We're going to drop that here. And we're going to start the frostbite journey. I don't need attack. Right? Cycle of life, cycle of life. Discard that. Big Glimmer. Glimmer again. We don't get the Frostbite. Maybe I should have. Oh, I should remember to ping my own guy. Just in case. Alright. Discard this action. I'm going to Glimmer and Awake. And then we're going to draw three. All right. Sap everything. As long as they deal damage, it's fine. Do some of this action. And then, of course, gain health. Do a glimmer. Attack. And then we are going to Frostbite, my guy. That's going to be two more stacks of Frostbite. 
damage this around. Which is why it's good. Okay. Do that. Get rid of this. Pump him up. Discard the offering token. Then we're going to drop five. That's a nice one. That's a really nice one. Discard our offering token. All right, we go bam. More health, more health, more attack, more frostbite. <laughs> All right. Discard that card. Draw five. That's a nice draw. Two hundred twenty frostbite from two attacks. Nice. Get rid of these zero cost ones. What's the last card in my deck? Dead weight. Okay, so I can draw and discard it. And then I'll draw five. Only a small amount of health on my soul card here. 248. <laughs> uh, that's nice. That's nice. I like it. Look at that. Already at 2500 health. I think I've done a good job. Yeah, we can do this. We can offering token. Just keep drawing five. And a glimmer, bam. How do you like being sapped? Only drop four this time, but we got that extra stack. I mean, it's only three damage, so it's a very nice small stack, which is great. Blank pages. I mean, it's there. Let's take it. It's going to be pretty rare where I actually get the blank pages to trigger, uh, just because I'm drawing so many cards. I also like the fact between jack strips and rules of containment, it looks uh, it's what two, four, six, seven. Yeah, enemies are taking seven damage before they reach to me. Nice. Is that useful? Who knows? It is for this. All right. Soul Guard, Animus. Um, we're gonna Glimmer and give you health. Then we draw three. That's not bad. More health, another that. Discard you, draw one. And we discard. That's fine. Okay. Awesome. Sentient. Uh, just get dropped down. Gosh, they have so much health. Rector Flicker. Ooh. Sure. Um, we're going to Glimmer first, because that's important. Discard you. Big heal. 
More attack. More attack. And then I, we can start frostbiting my guy. At this rate, we're going to be getting you. That's an ugly wave. I always hate that wave. He's also annoying. Big Flicker is going to kill the frontliner at least. Alright, more health. Get rid of this. We're going to cast the important cards from here. And then we're going to draw three. And then we're going to offering token again. Nice. We're slowly sla uh, sapping the last divinity, which is useful. Okay, we got rid of the frontliner. That's fine. He's going to do a little bit of damage there, which is great. Oh boy, Reap Chief. Um, there's the Ensnare. We discarded this. I don't feel like taking damage. Glimmer. And then we draw three. Nice, I got a free glimmer. More health here. It doesn't really matter that my uh, offensive scaling is slow on my Animus of Will. Uh, because I just have really good Damage scaling. Okay, get rid of this. Cast the awake. We give you more spikes. We give you more attack. Right, even if I didn't have the root here from root split mask or from uh, the ensnare, he would have gone up, gotten dazed by the vapor funnel, and then taken the damage anyways. Sure, spell weakness. It's actually kind of useful. Alright. More sap. What are my five cards here? Uh, there's a chance. Dang, I drew the one I didn't want to draw. We're going to get rid of this. Do this action, this action, and then more frostbite. All right. Floor space. Yeah. Oh, he dies. All right, more attack. Get rid of a glimmer. Discard the amulet. We're going to play eventual shards because I don't want to take damage. Draw four. Nice. There's my other glimmer. Free glimmer. But that's a lot less damage now. It's okay. All right, end round. Wow, Tethys living for two rounds. Who do we get? Hornbreaker Prince. 45. He's not going to live here because that's already 32, 38. 48, 50, 60. He does not going to have 60 health, right? He's going to have 68 health. I'm bad at counting. Okay. Do that. Give you some of this. Bam. Bam. Root. More frostbite. Ah, uh, not enough. So I do take some damage. Seeing both of those in my hand is really annoying. But it's fine. Go Tethys. Alright. Where's my bigger one? This is the bigger one. Snare. Offering token. And we have a perfect one, two, three, four ember. Honestly, this set probably helped a little bit. 
All right. How much frostbite do we get? Oh, two. Wow, we actually got that to 100 attack. We got a lot of frostbite in there. Nice. Thanks, Hef. The blank pages were amusing. Tethys got some action because of that, which is always fun to see. All right. Run summary. So. What we had here is we had a Frostbite Soul Guard Cold Channel carry. Honestly, this is a path, if you know how to build it, works with a lot of clans, and it actually works very well. Uh, I mean, you got health gain, so that is both Awoken, and with uh, Wormkin, you got armor, so that's Hellhorned. Um, Melting Remnant. You can do, it just doesn't, it's not the best in Melting Remnant. There are some that work with it, right? Uh, you could do, I mean, there's the artifact that gives five armor on death, which is, eh. there is reform version of it, which is also, eh, so Melting is probably the worst for if you're doing Frostbite Cold Channel. Um, which clan did I forget? Logbook. Right. Hellhorned. Armor. Health. This Umbra works as well. You can gain some health, especially if you get a rail spike. That's who I forgot. Okay. They also have damage shield, which is actually not what you want to use because that blocks taking damage. It's not like spikes. There's no revenge trigger if you're not damaged. But. Um, I put an Animus of Will with an Awoken Hollow. Um, probably... Oh, I did get up to 100 attack. So it's hard to say. I did scale quite a bit at the end uh, in the last fight. I'm not sure if it would have been smarter to put the Siren of the Sea in here. Or the Awoken Hollow. I did the Awoken Hollow on the chance it could give Soul Guard health, but with the Mark of an Exile, this starts at 43 health. Soul Guard was starting at, at the end, 105 health. Um, yeah, it's not just happening. And then two Cycle of Lifes, plus that Soul Guard, he had over, what, 200 some health at the end, which was amazing and a lot of fun. Probably could have solo carried against Last Divinity. Especially since I had Holdover Offering Token plus Guardian's Amulet. So each round I was just sapping more and more. But yeah, this was a uh, heavy... Honestly, Animus did good work. But uh, I'm going to give this to Soulguard. Some nice Frostbite action. Um, we took a 13 damage against Fell because of all the junk. But otherwise, it was a very, very clean run. Um, the Awoken Rail Spikes, of course, pulling some heavy work. Maybe if I went first Hell Pact here. Well, no, I couldn't have gotten the Infinite because I didn't have two re Rail Spikes. The uh, the Eternal Stone was on the opposite side of the dupe on the last ring, so that wasn't going to work. Um, but yeah, this is a nice Frostbite carry. Pump up the health of Soul Guard. Give it some big old heels in my glimmers, and it just is going to survive. It was a lot of fun. I always enjoy Frost Channel or Cold Channel runs. And honestly, if you look at the relics, none of them. I mean, okay. Mark of an Exile and Emblem of an Exile are basically the best ones for increasing the health. So if you ever do Soul Guard, runs um uh mark of an exile is really good because typically you never run dire channel you can do dire channel occasionally uh it just isn't the strongest it has the what the least amount of health which makes it a poor choice uh sometimes you flex into it but typically you're going titan channel or cold channel and in that case markman Ex exile is one of the best things for soul guard 
Uh, Cold Channel also is really good with Rit Split Mask because you get two rounds of Frostbiting them, but that wasn't actually needed uh, in this case, especially because I had the Vapor Funnel. One of these, I don't didn't really need either, both of them, but one of those would pretty much guarantee that I was killing everything, either with Frostbite damage or it was going up to the Pyre and then dying. Especially the Vapor Funnel came handy against Fell, where it died to Frostbite in the Pyre, which is great. Everything else, none of these, I mean, they're not OP, super strong artifacts, uh, cuddle beards, beard would have been good um, for more frostbite, doubling cant would have been great, right? If we check out, yeah, cuddle beard, founding seal, those would have probably been amazing. Uh, Kinstone Totem would have been nice, because then I could discard, gain more Emery, draw more. So those are three that would have been really good to see for this deck. Um, I mean, Grasping Vine, Cursed Vines isn't bad for me. Split Anvil would have been really nice. So that's three artifacts that would have been amazing for this deck, at least. I think I skipped an improved firebox for something else, but that's also a really good one. Right, so that I didn't have some of the best artifacts, but I still had very good ones. So even without, you know, just relying on those OP, this went really well. All right, that's enough of me talking. If you want to try this run yourself, you are welcome to. The challenge code is derived reached rebel. Okay, thank you for watching and have fun.